we have been filming Megasodes for more than a year now. Welcome to the Megaversary, suckers! Woo! -hoo! <laughs> wow, we just did the exact same thing in tandem. I'm feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> no, but it is kind of cool that we've been doing this for a year. I can't believe it. And people are still watching. <laughs> right? <laughs> How do you feel about kind of backtracking on the year? I'm just thinking about like recapping. Yeah, let's recap the year. Let's I feel like we talk about this stuff all the time, but like, like that one was awesome. I know, but we've never really like actually gone into detail about like why we did stuff and what it was like making it because that's sometimes some of the best stuff. Which one shall we start with? I don't know why, but like the first one that comes to mind for whatever reason is actually one that was totally your idea that you've been wanting <laughs> to do for like a really long time. Was the Sierra Ride parody. I think people should know the backstory. I just don't think that people like appreciate it as much as they possibly could. And this could help them appreciate it even more. Because we didn't really promote this one so much because it was quite frankly probably the most embarrassing one that we've done for myself. But anyway, so so when I was like just getting into into college, Sierra Ride. The video, which if you haven't seen it, straight fire. Just saying, give it a watch. Anyways, I thought it was hilarious. But she's like saying ride and like doing all this dirty stuff, and I was like, that would be hilarious if I'm just like riding a bike. <laughs> like, but we only had a skateboard and apartment, so it was like a really fun thing for me to film, particularly when you were struggling with the skateboard. <laughs> Can we just talk about your sense of direction? I mean, you, we've just talked about how like you like spontaneously have ideas and then you just kind of like go for it. You walk the exact same way. <laughs> we will be just like going to a casual lunch, but you like walk fast. I walk fast. You walk faster than anyone I know. <laughs> Number two, it's actually kind of not a walk. Most of the time it's more like a skip. I'm like, let's go. Yeah, it's like <laughs> highly caffeinated, yay. You're like, I don't know what exactly it is. Maybe you're just like high on life. Which is a great way to be, but like stressful for me to actually follow you. Like, you don't even know where you're going half the time. That's, That's not true. My, my sense of direction is impeccable. You, okay. Where are we? I'm still not exactly. Who gave us? Oh, this way. 100%. I am really good at direction. You always get us to where we need to go, but there are just times where you don't even know where you're going and you're just trying to direct me where to go and it's just, it's weird. No, I never get us lost. Moving on. No, nope, no, nope, we are not <laughs> moving on. Megan's family, one of my favorite families, like ever. I, I consider them family. Anytime I enter the room with them filming a Megasode, they flee. <laughs> <laughs> they do not want to be on camera. And Aunt Karen. They're behind the scenes kind of, kind of people. Which is sad because they're so entertaining. But I've never met a more entertaining family in my life. It's like, they're epic, and but there's been one person that's been a little bit more vocal than the rest about not being She's on camera. She's always more vocal than the rest. I love her more than anything, but this woman, you get her going on something and she will not stop. And it gets more and more hilarious and it gets more and more outrageous. Listen, you're not allowed to, I didn't sign a waiver. You're not allowed to put me on camera. I'm not keeping the next one. And Karen, I'm so sorry that you're on this Megasode, but like, it's too good to pass up. <laughs> I just watched the WPXI. I look like on TV. I look like I'm 4920. You got, you got, so now, does that what the camera does to you? Oh, I, look like I, can't. I can't believe that you come in this kitchen and try to get me. Do you see what I look like in this jersey? Do you think that I'm on camera? Four nine two twenty on the WPXI. No. Yes. Are you down? Um, and I know we're about to talk about something that may be like a little bit like harder or harsh, but you know I can be like a love sandwich. Like I love you. This is something that you need to hear, and then I love you. Like yeah. that sandwich. The love sandwich. Yeah, for sure. I do that. Yeah. But it's better than the hate sandwich. <laughs> Sometimes I just get the hate sandwich though. That's not true. That's not true. Because I always start the day with I love you. <laughs> and the day with I love you. <laughs> no, but I, I guess just like some.
sometimes on the video you can see me being hard on you. You miss all my best takes. What are you gonna film it or are you gonna help? Right now I'm slaving away in the kitchen because Brittany obviously has to film. I'm gonna have to hire someone new. <laughs> Just keep filming. I don't need any help or anything. Oh, that you're carrying the camera and I'm carrying everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, get it together over there. Just think about how good our videos would be if she rolled the entire time. <laughs> well, sometimes like your sandwich of love is just like laughter because you know what you're about to say and then something mean that you is actually like kind of funny to you and then you follow it up with laughter and somehow the laughter softens the whole thing. <laughs> you can sometimes be like half nice to me <laughs> and I'm just so complimented because I was like, wow, she's actually like a little nice. But I'm so proud of you. Like. You were a prepubescent 15 year old. Now I feel like you're going through puberty. And I'm just so proud. I'm like a little bit complimented. <laughs> but I should be like, wow, that's so mean. <laughs> Everyone knows, well, anyone that's been following the Megasodes has definitely seen the man, the myth, the legend. Drew episode, yeah. Oh, Drew is at his own episode because he's so great. Okay, let's be real though. That was like the highlight of his of his life last year. The, he's not like anybody else in my immediate family, so like I'm really. That's I would true. say I have my dad's humor and like my mom's bluntness and like forthcomingness and the way her mannerisms and things like that. And then Drew, I'm pretty sure was adopted. <laughs> he, he's like incredibly kind and patient and caring and like does things for other people and I'm like. Whoa, okay, you were just so much nicer than me. <laughs> you were so much kinder and you're making me look bad. So I would just fill up one up. Okay. Yeah, just and I think they only had one. It's messing up my outfit. But it's also the other side lower than the other one. No, okay. I told you to mess up my outfit. Okay, so Drew and I are like so opposite. He's a night owl and I'm a morning person. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm raring to go. I jump straight out of bed. I have the same energy like at 6 a.m. that I would at being at practice. <laughs> like I just do, I can't help it. And he gets out of bed and he's like, so I like get in the car. And it's just like me, because she's awesome. She always has energy. Yeah, she's the best. She was coming to practice with us on the day that we did the, the family shoot. Yeah. And we were just like cruising up, jamming out, and poor Drew never looked more miserable in his entire This went on the whole weekend. Don't act like it was just that morning. <clears throat> no, I'm telling you, and every morning was a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it's not like we were doing it on purpose. It was just a difference of lifestyle choices. He is super competitive. And the only person I know that's more competitive is you. He still talks about this. It still bothers him. He thinks that you just picked the game that you were best at just so you could beat him at it. No, and that if no, you played anything else, you would be better than him in all the games. You're a pretty sore winner when it comes to Drew. That's not true. I didn't rub it in when, when he lost that game. Except I was dying. You were <laughs> yeah, this is that's what I was referring well, to. Well, because he was being so ridiculous, like picking cones and like there was smoke coming out of his ears. How is that not funny? <laughs> but he did wake up early just to train you. I can't help it that it was hilarious. You were laughing too. I hear you laughing on the camera, so don't eat It was secondhand awkwardness, but we all lived, <laughs> so. Guess who still has all 10 fingers? <laughs> if anybody's watched Clean's Kitchen this year, you would know that that is an accomplishment. <laughs> I think there were actually multiple comments, multiple people that said they couldn't continue to watch The Clink's Kitchen because they I'm were actually like, they were gonna witness I, I'm the really, I'm really thankful for everybody's like caring about my fingers, but I figured you only need at least like three to throw the ball in, so we're fine. Yeah, we're totally no, fine. Mean, well, this has been a continuous concern while watching your Clink's Kitchen. You didn't see that, right? <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah. Whoop, was that a finger? Nope. You will take your life into your own hands. Or the knife into your own hands. <laughs> yeah, people have been really concerned about this knife issue. But we've, we've, we've been okay. Megan's okay. Yeah, I am okay. But you know what didn't turn out okay? 
what? A Kling's Kitchen when we tried to make lavender dough. There is a Kling's Kitchen that you have not seen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's vegan. Let me just check the label of this. Nope, but no trans fat, so we're good. Healthy. I'm gonna be honest, like I love lavender more than any other flavor. Like I love it in donuts, I love it in creme brulee, I love it in my smoothies, I love it in my toothpaste deodorant. Yeah. I love putting it on as perfume. There's nothing that I love more than lavender. And that's the honest truth. Yeah. So I decided that it would be a great idea to make lavender donuts. Tried to eat them and couldn't even stomach half. But I personally knew this was going the wrong way before we even started when you found the lavender essential oil and it said, please do not eat on the container. <laughs> and you started dropping it into the lavender donuts. I think we're all consumed though. Do you remember this? Oh yeah, but not we, by us. We ended up making cookies out of them because they wouldn't rise like the dough for donuts. So we were like, oh, we'll just make little cookie cakes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We like salvaged it some way, not for an episode, but just for like, oh, we were having company later. Maybe people will eat these. Everyone kind of like, I don't remember who. Everyone was just being nice. So like, yeah. had some teammates over. Everybody was just being nice by trying them, okay? I was like, please, just give it a try. Like, no, no pressure, but like, I would really like to get rid of these sort of thing, and so people are like nibbling them. And then I just like look over there, I see Lindsay Horan in the corner, like, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. She ate three or four donuts, I've, or cookies, or whatever they were. <laughs> I don't even know. And she I, ate all of them. It was appalling. It was whatever was left. It was appalling. Everything was gone. <laughs> she, she thought that they were like the best cookie that she's had in a really long while. And then, to be honest, they didn't look good, no. they didn't smell good, they didn't really taste good except to Lindsay. Yeah. Like, to every sense that you have, these donuts were repulsive. <laughs> Arguably the most popular Megasode this year. Arguably. I think Deb. Okay, there's like two that I think people really enjoy, probably for slightly different reasons. The one that has the most views is the Nomo Max. I mean, clever title, great acting. Poor Mo. <laughs> Poor Mo. You took my back I don't have your back Yes, you do. No, Why I don't. Where would I have? I don't even have pockets. Oh Bray, you took them. I don't know a lot about macaroons. <laughs> yeah, in fact, that was your first one, wasn't it? And you tried it? Yeah, another thing that you judged me really hardcore for. Wait a minute, what's the name? You've never had a macaroon. You've never had a macaroon? That's where they go. Oh, That's their gosh, favorite place. I would love to go to France with you at some point. And have like a real macaroon for France. A real mega Yeah. I'm not sure I can afford those production costs yet, yeah, but one day. One, one day. day. One day. If you'd like to fly us to France, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking donations for a mega because we're running low on cash. <sighs> Aside from the Nomo Mac, I think the video that got the greatest like reception slash feedback that people will just would watch multiple times and couldn't get enough of. My dad's personal favorite, like a lot of like <laughs> personal favorites of like people that I know, that this was the video, was the lip syncing video, which I will give you credit, was actually your idea. This, this you. one was like a Megan Klingenberg production. This was like, like when we say Megan so it actually was. Many, many that we've done was the bacon. 
And I feel like there's a lot of unfinished business when it comes to the bacon. Yeah. Like, did she get the bacon? Didn't she get the bacon? How long did it actually take to get the bacon? Where was she when she was trying to get the bacon? Does she still eat bacon? Just, like, there's so many questions, right? I know. People were actually more concerned about whether you got the bacon or not than whether you cut off all 10 fingers. Absolutely, people want to know about the bacon. And I guess all I have to say is, no comment? Yeah, no comment. You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think, yeah, in conclusion, it's been a really awesome year of medicines. Yeah, this megaversary was also incredibly fun to film. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Brittany Bartol, for editing, starring, producing, <laughs> and filming. Filming. Directing. No, I'm definitely a director. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Tune in. But seriously, cut it. Oh, I don't know. Cut it. No. <laughs> and, yep. Yeah. I can see myself in the window right now, and I, I like can't look away. It's like a train wreck. It's like I feel like Adam Adam Lambert mixed with <laughs> mixed with Green Day, and that's exactly what who I am right now. You think this will work if I put it on like this? <laughs> oh, that's weird, Don. You're not getting my heart rate. <laughs> I wore it every session. <laughs> First of all, why are they riding a bike without a tire? Of course, that's grounds for failure. And second of all, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that sign is a direct replica of the many bike accidents that I've had. <laughs>